Hi guys and happy 1st of December. Welcome to Vlogmas. So I actually filmed this vlog yesterday and I just wanted to pop on here quickly just to say hello and that I hope you're all really excited for Vlogmas because I'm so excited. I really haven't worked out what I'm doing, how I'm going to do it. I'm not sure what my upload schedule is going to be. I'm just going to film stuff that's Christmassy, film my day and then upload. But if I have nothing to film at one day or I'm busy, then I'll probably just like skip an upload or I might get some days and compile them into one vlog. Make sure you go grab yourself a cup of tea, get cozy and enjoy this vlog. Hi guys and welcome to day one of Vlogmas. I hope you're all doing really well and having a lovely day, lovely week. I think by the time this vlog goes out we are almost out of lockdown. Well, in London we are anyway, because London is going into tier two. So that's something really nice and something to look forward to. But if you haven't come out of lockdown, then I'm thinking of you and I hope you're okay. So hold on in there. Christmas is literally around the corner. And think about how fast this first lockdown has gone. It's literally flown by. Today's plan is to go on a hunt for some baubles and Christmas decks. So we're gonna go to Dunelm and maybe like a couple of garden centers, stuff like that, and pick up some bits. But first of all, I need to blow dry my hair. It's like semi-wet and it's looking a bit fluffy right now. I used um, this attachment today on my Dyson, which I don't think I really used properly before and it's so easy it literally just blows my hair in about two minutes pop some oil on so for breakfast today we have avocado and feta with pomegranate on toast made by the lovely bee this looks so good and it's kind of christmasy as well for the pomegranate oh yeah it does we don't have any paprika that's okay hey she's got a nice outfit on oh, she's got a nice coat on she looks really snug we could go in here and get a coffee uh yeah um am i allowed to stop here no parking no stopping okay so i'm not allowed to park here what do you want chai latte okay oh, oh, well, yeah. thank you guys i woke up with a really bad crook in my neck this morning <laughs> sorry i can't do much that's okay um, i nearly sp i nearly dropped the whole thing just now yeah <gasps> while i was coming out of the thing oh no Right, let's go. There's so many cyclists today. Oh, there. oh look, they've got baubles. Oh, they have. Oh, no, what have I just done? I think loads of couples out today. Same. Like loads. Yeah. Like really in love with each other. Oh. <laughs> I'm in love and I'm love and I don't care who knows it. Where's that from? I don't know which way I'm going. From Elf. Oh, yeah. Kate. <laughs> you literally watched that last night. That's so yummy. This is really nice and smooth. Did you get the same as me? I did. We got two chai lattes. Sorry, but you, you're not even in the shot. Yeah, lots of couples like holding hands, looking into each other's eyes, loving each other, which is nice. Nice for them. Yeah. I'd hate to go on a couple's run. Shame. Shame. I did that once. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it wasn't fun. I stopped halfway through and I was like. I'll meet you back here. Oh, he's got flowers in his rucksack for his girlfriend. Aww. Thank you. Coffee. <laughs> My latte. Do you know where that's from? She looks nice as well. Does she? Yeah, a cosy outfit, but she is asking to be run over. She scowled at you. <laughs> Did she? So we're outside the now. We both just downed our chai latte. So it was so good. Such a Christmassy taste, isn't it? Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Okay. So, Dunelm was only open for Flip and Collect. So we're now in the queue for Aldi. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to pick up some bits in here instead. Oh yeah, that'd be really good for the bush we have in our garden. <laughs> no, they're warm. I know, but they're for bushes. <laughs> what about this? Yeah, oh, look at this. That is stunning. Gorgeous. Oh, these are really cute, B. Look. Oh, they are cute. We don't need any more glasses, though. No. So, Aldi has a lot of random stuff and like random Christmas deck, um, 
Christmas things, but no actual baubles, which is kind of weird. They don't have any baubles, do they? No. Was well, there any point in us getting those lights? Oh, I want to get that Christmas outfit. I'm going to get Jasper on. Is that cute? No. <laughs> so we weren't very successful, but we have some lights and we've got some hand wash. We are now in Sainsbury's and M&S. Um, hopefully we'll have a bit more luck here with the Christmas decks. Let's go. You got your mask? Check. Mask check. Oh, that's really cute actually. It's five quid. <laughs> yeah. How much is he? Hello. He's so cute. Oh my god, same. I'm gonna have like five yeah. in the hallway. Maybe some real ones. <gasps> oh my god, that's the sort of thing I would actually do though. <laughs> oh look, it's a baby one. Oh. He's nice. Can you buy them? <laughs> Where would you store it all year round? In your room? <laughs> Under our bed. Under the bed, yeah. So we are in M&S and they've got some really cute Christmassy bits but like it's all quite colourful and um, bright and that's not really the vibe we're going for. Um, but we do have these really cute like things that we're going to mix in with our pamphlet glasses. Can we just buy those then and then head to Sainsbury's? Yeah. How cute these are, these tiny little... I actually love them. Should we get them? Okay, so Sainsbury's was like semi-successful. We got a few bits, but not enough to fill an entire tree. So now we're just trying to think of where to go next. Um, we could try a different Sainsbury's. Or an Asda. <sighs> like Asda on a Sunday though. Yeah. It's gonna be hell. So we ended up going to a different Sainsbury's and this one was so much better. And now the plan is to go get my car washed. I've actually never had this car washed since I've got it and um, it started to get a little bit dirty. So I'm going to do my first ever car wash, which is very exciting. Very exciting. Car washes always remind me of um, a Cinderella story. Oh, I don't think I've seen that. Yes, you have. I can't remember seeing it. Kate, that's such <laughs> a good film. With Hilary Duff. Yeah, I know the one you mean. Oh, whoops, I'm going right here. You know when we went to that drive-thru and we had McDonald's? Yeah. That made me really realise that I hate McDonald's. Oh, really? Like, I like the chips and I like a milkshake. Yeah. Don't understand how people can crave a McDonald's. Mmm. It's a bit too salty. Even the chips are not a fan. Well, I like the chips. I like the chips. <laughs> <laughs> and I like the milkshake and I like the chips dips in a milkshake. Oh, B. <laughs> 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 Yeah, like a vanilla milkshake or a banana milkshake with chips. Oh no. I really like it. I wish they had like a prep dry through. How nice oh, would that be? Oh my god, that'd be sick. Oh my god, we should make that happen. <laughs> Pret, if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be so good though, wouldn't it? That'd be so nice. Like imagine being hungover on a Sunday and being like, oh, let's go to the prep dry through. Yeah, and we could get like a Christmas sandwich. <gasps> Yeah, that would be good. Just stunning. Or like on a Sunday morning, a croissant. Oh my I mean, God. we could just walk down to the bread. <laughs> There's something about a drive through though that's quite special, I think. Yeah, definitely. It's the joy of going through the drive through Because every time, because I've got a quick mate, every time I look at that, I have to be like this. I know, it's horrible. Cool. I feel really bad for you. <laughs> Thanks. I think because I... Okay, first time ever doing a car wash. Are we ready? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we are. Let's get the popcorn out. I've only got mini cheddars. No. Oh. Is it open? Uh, oh, it's a know. jet wash. B. Okay, right, we're gonna have a little rethink. I actually don't know where the nearest one is. I don't want a jet wash. No, I don't want you to jet wash. The only one I can think of is BP in Brighton. Oh, should we drive down there? <laughs> yeah. Car wash near me. Guys, false alarm. It's not a car wash here. It's a jet wash, like one that you do by hand. 
Hi guys, we are now home. I'll do a little haul of everything we picked up from Sainsbury's in a second. We got some really nice bits. Sainsbury's home is fab. I wasn't expecting it to be that nice. I was just kind of going there for like some basics, you know, like your basic plain ball balls, just kind of things to fill up the tree. Am I in focus? Um, but they have some really gorgeous pieces. Um, especially like their decorations and stuff, presents. I've got loads of little like trinkets and um, decorative bits that are just so cute. We were in the Sainsbury's car park and there's this little dog in the car and the car alarm kept on going off. I felt so bad for the dog. I've been thinking about this dog all day. Do you know what? I don't think there's a day that goes past that I don't think about getting like a little dog or a cat. I'm just, I'm just so desperate, honestly, to have a pet. Obviously, I've got little Jasper at home. Um, with my parents but it's just not the same and it was different when I had Alfie our old cat that passed away this summer because he was mine when I was younger and we had a really good bond good connection um so when I came home he knew that his mum was coming home whereas with Jasper I'm not Jasper's mum my mum is his mum so even though like he loves me and he recognizes me when I come home it's just not the same and I'm just really craving that kind of bond with an animal that I just don't have anymore. So yeah, I would absolutely love one. I've been thinking about it for a long, long time. I don't know, there's just so many pros and cons, isn't there? I don't think I ever told you guys, but um, last year I was actually looking to um, like do some fostering, like um, fostering adopted, fostering animals that were in rescue homes but I just don't think I could do that. I know that I'd get attached and keep every single one. But yeah, I think my plan is, I don't know when, but I would love to get like a little rescue cat or dog. Um, but the thing that's stopping me at the moment is the fact that we're in this flat and I know that we're gonna move in the next two years because our lease is gonna come up, come to an end. Um, and I just think if it's a rescue animal, I don't, I don't know, I just think it might unsettle them or I don't know, I just don't think it's very fair and also if it's a dog or a cat, like we don't have a garden so it just doesn't feel like the right time so I'm thinking of just holding it out, waiting until we move but that's like another two years another thing I considered is getting a house bunny because I absolutely love bunnies and I know quite a few people who have house bunnies and you can train them and like they're really nice and stuff but then I feel like they're not quite the same as a cat or a dog are they? Um, yeah, I don't know, I'm just thinking out loud here. But honestly, I, guys, I checked the RSPCA, Battersea Cats and Dogs Home, um, all of those websites like every single day, just because I like to look. It was actually really nice. A lot of you guys send me photos of your cats and your dogs on Instagram all the time, and it makes me so happy. But yeah, that always cheers me up when I'm missing Alfie or Jasper. Anyway, I'm gonna give you guys a haul of the things we picked up. Well, I'm not used to myself with straight hair. I feel like I look really different. So, I'm going to show you guys what we picked up, starting off with this star for the top of the tree. just thought it was really cute, very simple, just your generic tree topper. Yeah, we really struggled to find Christmas toppers this year. This was actually, I think this was the only one we saw, but luckily it was really nice. And then we picked up two sets of these baubles, again from Sainsbury's Home. In fact, this is all from Sainsbury's Home, apart from one item. So then we want to go for like a white and goldy silver theme which is really hard because things are either gold or silver not silvery gold but then we found these which kind of have like a silvery gold tint which i really like and these will be just good for like filling out the space i think and then we've got five of these like clear glass ones with these cute little christmas trees and snowflakes if we could have just could focus um yeah i think these are so pretty so we've got five of these ones we got three of these white ceramic style ones i think it's a really pretty and i really like the shape of them as well so yeah we've got three of these and then five of the other i've got a thing of odd numbers um with like home stuff i feel like you've always got to have things in odd numbers otherwise it doesn't look right we picked up these tiny little baubles these aren't for the tree these are for christmas presents how cute are they so small and so dinky and then finally from emma's home we picked up these really pretty sparkly branches. I think these are gorgeous. And again, they have that perfect silver gold mix, which I really like. Um, so these were five pounds each, which I mean, it's not cheap, but I do really like them and they feel like they're gonna be good quality. So we're thinking of either adding them to our dry flower display to make them look more Christmassy, or maybe just having them like on their own. Not really sure what we're gonna do with them yet. But yeah, how pretty are these? I think that's everything we picked up, is it? And we also picked up these these lights. Audi, these are just ones to go on the tree. I think these are like a warm white because at the moment we have blue and blue just doesn't look very nice, look quite cold. So we wanted some warm ones. Here are what the fairy lights look like that we got from Audi. Was it Audi or Lidl? 
Uh, Audi. Audi. And they're really pretty, but they're just not very bright. So I think they look a bit more cute around the mirror rather than on the tree. So we'll have to find some new ones to go on the tree. Bees just made a lovely Sunday roast dinner. People in my vlogs are going to think I just sit here and wait to be served dinner and <laughs> breakfast and lunch. <laughs> No, B really enjoys cooking, so I kind of need the cooking to her most days. Um, this looks lovely though. So we have, you tell us. Butternut squash, brie and spinach. Lovely. And then potatoes and mashed purple carrots that have gone brown. Yeah, this is um, all carrot. And then yeah, potatoes and chocolate puddings. B's got Brussels sprouts, but I'm not a fan. You made this so quickly. I know, I thought it would take much longer. What am I with it? So I've got a video going live on my channel this evening, um, which means I have to make all of the links. So here are all the links I have to make, but I think I have most of the links saved already, which is really good. So I have this app here, um, which is called Reward Star, which is how I make all of my affiliate links. And luckily I can type things in that I've already linked, like Moroccan oil, for example, and then I just can get the link straight up, which makes my life a lot easier so i've just been waiting the past hour for my laptop to charge so i can go downstairs and upload tonight's video our wi-fi has actually got slower i didn't think it was possible but it has so now every time i upload a video i have to go downstairs and borrow the concierge's wi-fi He came to keep me company. I have just had such a nightmare of trying to upload my video. It took maybe two hours sitting in the lobby for it to upload. Um, and then it wouldn't process, so I've been really stressed, but I've, it's all uploaded now, so I feel a lot better. Anyway, I'm gonna end this vlog here. I really hope you guys enjoyed a vlog on this day one. I definitely did. It's been fun starting to get into the Christmas spirit. And I will see you all tomorrow for my next video. I love you all so, so, so much. Bye. Mm -hmm.